Hey guys, welcome back again with me, Lana Plunkett. We are going to have a great workout today. This is total body strength. So we will, as usual, be hitting all muscle groups. I've got um, some fun new movements that we're doing today that um, if you've been working out with me for a while, I'm excited to try them because I haven't included them uh, previously. So reviewing some equipment that I'll be using today, but just remember if you don't have anything, have these things on hand, just uh, use some kind of a, of a supplement or just uh, kind of make things your own. I'll offer suggestions as well. So if you can, it's a little bit in the distance, but hanging on that kind of pole over there, you can see an exercise band that I've got wrapped around there. So that's something new that I'm introducing today. Um, I'm using the green color, which is more of the easier resistance one. Um, I'm also just gonna have a light set of dumbbells and I've got a mat just for things that will be, uh, we're doing a couple movements that will be kind of on the floor. So I've got that. I think that's about it. So if you don't have dumbbells, remember that canned goods are a great way to just get creative and use something else. Um, don't worry about using a weight that's super heavy unless that's kind of where you're at, like in your weight training. I'm just using something really light today. I'm just using like three pounds just to, um, I'm also being a little easy on my elbow here because it's a little bit flared up. So just remember to use a weight that's safe. Um, let's see, make sure that you stay hydrated, that you listen to your body along the way. So our format's going to be the same as last week. We'll have about like a five minute warm up. We will include a cool down at the end. Um, our circuit will include seven movements. We're gonna go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Once we get through it one time, we'll take about a 45 second rest and then we will go through it again. So I always encourage you, because we do things for time, you can really make it your own. So if you need to rest through the remainder of that time interval, please do so. Yay, Amy! So I am so excited here. I'm just gonna give like 30 more seconds and then we'll pop up and get started on time. Just a reminder, this is now a 30 minute class. So last week it started being the half hour. Um, this is just regular total body strength. We will have beginner total body strength on Thursday, but all levels are welcome here. I'll offer some modifications along the way. I just might not go into as much detail since we now have a beginner class available, all right? Okay, let's get nice and warm and get to it. All right, so when it comes to our warm up, we've got five different movements. We are gonna do them for 30 seconds each and then we'll go ahead and repeat. So getting time clock started here. We're gonna start with just some simple light jogging in place. Just make sure you do nice low impact. Keep that landing nice and soft and control it. You can always do walking or marching in place if this is too much. So set the tone for your breath at this point. We're breathing in and out, just nice, kind of loose, like swinging of the arms here. Keep those wrists kind of loose. Just nice, light bounce. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears here. So these are just alternate knee hugs. Just starting to activate our core and get the legs moving a little bit more. Breathing in and out. If it's too much to kind of draw those knees up and grip them, just do marching in place. Five more seconds. Let's go for three, two, one, okay, go ahead and set yourself up for a plie squat on the bottom. So that just means a slightly wider stance with those toes pointed out a little bit more. And we're just gonna do a little bend, bring arms up and out overhead. Just like that, getting things moving. So keep on with that for 15 more seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on our jams again. Okay, just about one more or so. Let's finish out one more. All right, 
right, switching gears. Coming in to do our, st our uh, step cross toe touch. So kind of practicing a little bit of stability on each leg. And you're welcome to make this a skater instead if that's where we're at in our fitness journey. Got five more seconds. This is our last one here. All right, we're gonna go for alternate uppercuts. So let that movement come from your core. The core is engaged. Breathe, 15 more seconds. Crossing that middle line of the body, we're getting in some light twisting to kind of wake up those obliques. For three, two, one. All right, we're gonna repeat that warm up one more time. So back to our light jogging. Make sure you're breathing. Remember, you can always step or march in place. So as I usually mention, it's so important to warm up for injury prevention and to get the most out of our workout. Three, two, one, alternate knee hugs. Continuing just get nice and warm at this point. We should feel our heart rate kind of rising, feeling energy increasing. So we've got our plie squats with arms next, wider stance. Just nice fluid movements here. If it's too much to do both at the same time, just pick either doing just the squat or just the arms. 10 more seconds. We're gonna have our step cross touches up next. Okay, let's switch. Again, feel free to add a little bounce and make it a skater. It's okay if you don't touch your toe. Right outside today. So one more round of our alternating uppercuts. Make sure it's coming from the abdominals, it's not just the arms. You can always do fist or blade hands. I like the blades. Halfway there. We are almost ready to get into our circuit. Two more. All right, awesome work. So first movement is going to be a compound movement. Find a weight here that's appropriate for a squat and an overhead press. It can even be a medicine ball or any other weighted item. You're just gonna hold it just like this. So set yourself up for your squat on the bottom, like shoulder width apart, toes, knees, and hips will face the same way. Keep your chest lifted when you squat down. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, drive through the heels as you come up. We are gonna add a little pulse with it too. If the pulse is too much, skip it, all right? So weight in place, little pulse, overhead press, back to the chest. See as we push up, if we can drive that weight up, on the way up, exhale, squeeze. Resist the urge to lean into your toes. See if you can drive a little bit more towards your heels. Fifteen more seconds to go.
Okay, nice. So our next movement, give yourself 15 seconds off. I'll go ahead and kind of review what we're up doing next. These are called windmill abs. So depending on where we're at, you can skip weight. If you are using weight super, super light, like a one to two to three pound, no heavier than that. On the bottom, you're gonna set yourself up with like, if you're familiar with yoga, these are like triangle legs. So heels are kind of lined up here. Right toe pointed all the way out, left toe at 45 degrees. So you're gonna think of sliding up and down. Right arm down, left arm up. You're gonna stay in one plane of motion and move up. So this is gonna work the core a lot. If the weight is too much, go ahead and just skip it. It's still gonna be a good exercise. So let's go in three, two, one. Whew. So we are gonna split the time interval between both sides. So at about the 22 second mark or so, you're just simply gonna shift the legs and arms. All right, bring the other arm down, spin it in, point it out, other side. So I like to think of inhale lower, exhale drawing up. If you struggle with balance, a wall behind the back would be a great support. One more. All right, nice. So next up, we give yourself that little 15 seconds off. We're gonna go Romanian deadlift to bicep curl. So another compound movement, meaning we're combining two exercises into one repetition. So I'm gonna demo from the side so that we can see what we need to do with our back to stay safe. So hip width apart, little bend in the knees, keep those shoulders back. It's very important to engage the core and tuck that pelvis under a little bit here. Let's go ahead and start, keep with me. We're gonna lower down, flat back, eyes are lifted. Exhale, press up, the little curl and squeeze, just like that. Modification option is to just do your deadlift or just do your curl. So keep the core tight. Back flat, pelvis tucked under. Got 15 more seconds to go. Almost there. So we're working glutes. Legs and arms. This is our last one, finishing it out. Ooh, my little sheet flew away. So take your 15 seconds off as we prepare to use the bands. I'm so excited about these here. So we are coming first into the, let me double check. Chest fly. and just do a chest fly nice and lightly here if you don't have your band available. But I like to do one foot in front of the other for a little more support. I'm gonna angle it so you can see me. And we're just gonna come in and out like this. All right, let's go ahead and start. Make sure those arms are squeezed and engaged. Engage your core to help you out. So those elbows are slightly bent. We're just gonna bring it back to about right here. Exhale, squeeze. Control it on the way back. Okay, strong chest and arms. It's gonna periodically check our time. Less than 15 seconds. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, back with control. One more breath. Okay, go ahead and give that a little rest here. Take your 15 second break. Switching gears into a little more of a static exercise. We're gonna do a plank hold. So the goal is to go for 45 seconds. You're gonna just do your best. You're gonna pop down, 
when you're fatigued or maybe even popping down to the knees. I'm gonna give you a variation of your choice. So that could be elbow plank, high or high plank, all right? So I'm gonna do just a high plank variation, but do what works for you. Let's go ahead and start. So we're either up, if we are taking the modification and you're dropped to your knees, just make sure your back is flat. We wanna avoid like booty up or belly down, all right? Spreading those fingertips nice and wide helps if you're in the high plank. Make sure to breathe. We are more than halfway through the interval. Remember, you don't have to overexert if you need to rest through the remainder, that's okay. It's all about progress, not perfection. Five more seconds. We're down to three, two, one. Bring it on down. Stay down on the floor. We're gonna come around to our spines. We're gonna do alternating one-legged glute bridges. The modification is just to do a regular glute bridge with both feet planted on the floor. So you'll see we're gonna lift one leg, pop up and down, and then switch it out. Lying down. Legs hip width apart here, and raising one leg, we're gonna press, lower, kick, press. Think of pushing through that heel. Nice and easy squeeze. That squeeze at the top is where we're really gonna feel the work, and we, if we can, we wanna squeeze on the way down too. So it's a lot to think about. So just focus on what you can without feeling too overwhelmed. One more on each side. All right, nice. So we're down to one more exercise. So back to the bands. We are gonna do a row. So, if you don't have bands handy, you can always do the bent over row. Use the same rule of thumb of like engaging the core, little tilt under, if you're doing that bent over row, okay? It'll look just like this, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So I'm gonna use the band, so my back will be face to you. And you can keep feet in line. I like to do a staggered stance because I feel more grounded that way. Find a hold here, so exhale, pull it back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, let go of control, just like this. So this works the back primarily, but also the biceps too. Exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Halfway there. Remembering this is the last movement in our circuit, so we're going to go for a 45 second rest before we repeat. If you're new to working out, maybe you just make this the goal to get through the circuit one time and then you just watch and sit and stretch with us. Last one. All right, good job. Take that 45 second rest. So the reason I bring that up is because we just want to avoid the all or nothing thinking because it can be really discouraging and actually set us back. So. Focus on those small victories. The body will strengthen over time. What's more important is to be consistent because that's how we're gonna have success long-term. Okay, so just continue to rest. Just a reminder that our first movement is the squat pulse with the overhead press. So you're going to start to get that weight handy to hold in front of your chest. Remember to skip the pulse if it's too much resistance. So get things in place. Have your stance on the bottom and let's go. Press up, lower down. Woo. Remember not to neglect your breath. do make sure you're just getting those small sips of water along the way. I'll probably grab a little sip during this next 15 seconds. 
second rest. Got about 10 seconds. I'm feeling the burn. Nice job. Take that little rest. Windmill abs are up next. So catch your breath. Grab your light weights or skip the weight depending on what variation you're taking. Right toes out, angled in, hips to the corner. Arms are ready. And imagine just sliding down like a flat wall. You only go down as far as you can keep your shoulders stacked. Breathe in and out. So anytime we raise the arms overhead, it increases our heart rate. So one modification might be to even drop that top hand down to the hip for like a happy medium. Switching sides. I waited a little bit long to switch my sides, so we'll see if we can hit it for like five extra seconds on this side. Move with control, don't worry about speed. Last one. Nice. Up next, Romanian deadlift to bicep curl. So, it's all about safety here. Posterior tilt, tuck under, squeeze through abs and core. And slight bend in the knees. Eyes stay lifted. And curl and squeeze. Yep. Low and steady, quality over quantity. Safety first. More than halfway there. Keep your energy strong. Rest along the way as you need to. Small sip of water along the way as needed. Last one. Nice work. So we are moving back to our bands for our chest fly. I always think this one is fun. Remember, you face away from your support. Go ahead and get us started here. Find your stance. Arms are strong. Exhale, squeeze together. It's all about control. Make sure you don't go past here to keep your shoulders safe. Exhale, think of using arms and chest to squeeze in. So a lot of the times women don't think it's necessary to work the chest, but that's kind of a myth. It doesn't hurt anything. In fact, I think you're really gonna like the way that your arms start to look if you start working your chest regularly. Anytime we're working the chest, we're also toning through the triceps. Good job. 15 seconds off. As we prepare to switch gears, we're down on the mat for the next two exercises. Remember, first one is plank hold. Let's go in three, two, one. Mix it up along the way as you need to. Modify if you need to. You can even rest in a child's pose here if you need to. Remember, if you're modifying, keep your back flat. You can always do elbow plank too. Breathing. So 45 seconds is just a goal. You don't have to make it through the whole thing. We're more than halfway. Breathing in and out. Down to the 15 second mark. Whew, I haven't planked it out in a while. I can feel it. Engaging. Squeezing in through shoulders. Three, two, one. All right, bring it on around. Remember, it's alternating glute bridges. We are getting closer and closer to the end. You guys are doing great. 
must restart. Come on down to your spine, arms down by the sides. Start with one leg, we're exhaling, push. Bring it down and switch. Doing just regular glute bridge like this is the modification, all right? So the more we angle the leg down and keep it in line here, the harder it is. A nice happy medium is just to bring the leg straight up. It's a little bit easier on the hamstrings. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Last one. Nice job. Let's see if we can keep it strong through our last exercise. We're revisiting our bands for our row. If you don't have the bands, bent over row like we went over previously. So remember my back will be to you here. And go ahead and finish out strong. upper back and shoulder blades together. Strong arms. We do want to make sure that we're using the back muscles. The biceps are like the secondary thing that's kicking in. So resist that urge to just pull with your arms. Think of the strength coming from your back. Ten seconds and then we're going to cool it on down. for working out today. Let's take our right knee back here. We're gonna push back child's pose. So just sit hips back to the heels, take a couple breaths. Walk those fingertips way towards the top of the mat to stretch back out your arms and shoulders. You can even come up onto those fingertips to get a little more of a stretch. All right, lifting up here. Anyway, we're just going to come on down to the belly and do a little sphinx pose. So make sure that you don't crunch your lower back. Let your low body just be soft and disengaged. Let your arms and chest support you in this gentle, easy back bend. Remember, it's all downhill from here. Let your body know it's time to continue coming back to normal. All right, let's go ahead and bring those arms back in any way. We're just gonna lift back up. We're gonna spin around to our seat and stretch out our hamstrings. So just walk forward here, little seated forward bend. Avoid any tweaking in your low back. You can let your head and neck relax. 
Add any little side to side movement that feels good for your upper back. All right, we are gonna finish out with a twist and then I'll let you take over from there if you wanna to continue to do some seated stretching of your choice until you feel nice and cooled down. But just taking me in, wrap, kickstand, twist. Unwind it, lengthen it, other side. Wrap and kickstand. Okay, unwrap it, lengthen it out, shake it all out. You guys are awesome. I hope you're feeling strong and accomplished. Remember, we've got the beginner version of this class on Thursday, so that's a great way to just like we really go over the basics and do just more simplified exercises and really break things down. I think you'll really enjoy that, especially if you're just getting started and wanting to, you know, get those foundational movements down. Tomorrow we've got Core Crazy, our 15 minute abs, and we also have Relax and Restore after that class. So, re especially Relax and Restore, that'll be a great way to kind of stretch things back out if you participated in this today. And uh, 15 minute abs, that's just always a good one. Who, who doesn't have time for just 15 minutes, right? Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.